Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. You guys have asked us to simulate what would happen if the Argentinians right now, August 2022, attacked the Falklands. Could the meagre British defences currently stationed at the Falklands defend it? Well, let's go and find out. First thing to say is that today is going to be split into two. I want to try two different attack types. Attack one, the Argentines use no subterfuge, they use no special forces, they just use their air force and their navy and just do a straight on attack. And attack two, the Argentines use special forces and a special sneaky stealth attack. We'll start with the upfront attack one, first of all. The first thing we need to do is to research which units are available. So British first, as provided by Combat Ineffective, are on the Falklands full time at Mount Pleasant with four Eurofighter Typhoons, one tanker, estimated one battery of Sky Sabre Land Scepter missiles. And at the port near Mount Pleasant here, you no longer have a destroyer or frigate. What we do have is a river class patrol vessel, HMS 4th, which has two cannon but no real ground to air weapons on her so that's what we have also ewr the argentines let's start with the navy the main attack will of course be the navy her fighting ships are four almorante brown class destroyers but if you read this document you'll find although they can sail their ground to air missiles their sams are currently not in service so they won't play any part in terms of ground to air the Air Force is very interesting. They have very limited attack Air Force. They have seven indigenous IA-63 pumpers, think light training slash attack jets, without air-to-air -air capabilities, and 23 A-4 Skyhawks. These are the airframes that were sent back to the United States in the late 90s to be reworked into fighting hawks, the A-4AR. Although they are superior to the legacy Hawks, they still can only fight with the guns and close range sidewinders. And one more very important thing. These 23, according to this document, most of them are not fit for combat because they have not been maintained. We're going to change that for the role play to allow us to have a battle. And we're going to say that for the last 6 to 12 months, the Argentinians have been funding complete maintenance of these jets and all 23 are active. Technically, I suppose it's possible and could happen. And for the forces, the British, three EWR stations in the real life positions. We have, I do apologize, I've forgotten their names now, but this one here, this one here in the west, and we have one here just north of Mount Pleasant. We have, of course, the four Eurofighters in their QRA actual station positions, armed with eight meteors. These are what I call the variant two meteors. We've edited them from the base aircraft the aircraft is supplied of course by the negris guys really good guys but we found that the meteor is just way too overpowered it goes max six max seven it's a little bit silly so we've toned it way down we've reduced the thrust down to a meager 30 percent of what it was before it tops out now about map 3.5 it's much slower but it burns longer a bit like the real one rather than having a range of over 160 miles like before it's more like 100 miles now in really good conditions or 80 miles in average conditions i would like to see your feedback if you watch the video and see if you think we've got it about right two asrams for close range and of course a fuel tank we do not have sky saber in dts we have what i would consider the closest one that i can find according to wikidata is the american norwegian nasams with a similar type of missile for defending mount pleasant finally we do not have the river class but we do have a predecessor the castle class that she replaced because it's not as good i'll replace it with two rather than one but like I said, they're not going to play much part in ground to air anyway. And the Argentinians, they are attacking with all 23 fighting hawks, 19 are AI set to max skill level, and four are human. They're all equipped with two bags and two legacy sidewinders. We have the seven pampers played here by albatrosses. It's just easier and they're about the same in terms of effectiveness with ground to air rockets also. The four Almirante Brown destroyers and, most importantly, seven refitted cargo ships carrying one division of infantry to take the island. That is 2,000 infantry per vessel. The Argentinian plans will differ between the two situations that we've got here. By the way, these dotted lines are showing where the different EWRs of the British 
can see. In this open attack, it's going to be super simple. The Fighting Hawks are going to charge in. Their only intention is to overwhelm the Typhoons. They must put out of action the Typhoons. The Typhoons are the only things that are stopping these Almirante Browns and the Infantry Division from taking the island because the Typhoons could, of course, go and bomb them. So the Argentinians are throwing 23 Fighting Hawks at the four Typhoons and they're going to try and take them down. They're going to close the distance as fast as they possibly can. But of course there is nowhere to hide but the EWR will easily see them. The Pampers are going to try, if it works, sneak through and start attacking the EWR sites. My humans today. Four humans in the Typhoons. Matrix, Killer, Firedad, Strider. On the Argentinian side in the Skyhawks. Simba, Scott, Cannonball and Gans. Say hello, boys. Hello. Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's run this first iteration and then come back and we'll run the other. Okay, here we go. First battle, REF. As soon as you guys see those contacts with your EWR, then you can scramble. I see them. Yeah, there's one already. And the REF scramble. Go get them, boys. Good luck. I'm rearing to go. Typhoon, check in. There you go. Okay, and checking on the red side. Some beautiful Argentinian Skyhawks. And my human pilot today. Matrix, it looks like you're heading to the north. Fire Dad's going to take the, the second group just south of you. Strider, if you want to go south of me, and looks like Killer's to the furthest south. Yeah, Killer, if you take the southernmost group, that should be attack aircraft, according to the intel. And I'll take the northernmost. The other two, uh, if you start from the middle work, north and south, respectively. I'm probably going to ignore the L-39s, to be honest. This looks like those A4s could get caught out pretty easily. Okay, progress of reds. Simba, how does it feel going up against modern jets in your old 60s jets? Oh, I love the A4. Simba doing something extremely sneaky by the looks of it. I know it's very important and you want to get there quickly, but you do not have infinite fuel and you've got to be really careful about fuel burn. See everybody's speed just rapidly start to decrease. Let's have a quick look at the EWRs. This is the southernmost mountain you can see that the green guy is the actual EWR and the white guy is the one I've had to put in just to make it actually work in game and the northern site again the green one is the real one the white one is the working one and we've got our pseudo uh, sky saber site and it's really difficult to get actual information reliable information on the sky saber and the ships for today Played today by the two vessels that were replaced, the Kazel class and the uh, kind of cargo container ships that are carrying the 2,000 uh, Argentine infantry each, apparently. Distance between fronts. I just claim if I can get feet dry, it's a victory.
Strider, what's your targeted heading right now? 6-3 should be. 2-6-3? Yes. Um, turn a little bit further north. That's the group I'm heading after. I don't want our meteors to cross streams. Are you guys Ghostbusters or what? I'm just, I'm just hoping the uh, great god of Argentina, Lionel Messi, blesses me with uh, good tidings. Does anyone have any returns from radar yet? Fire has got him. But I'm, I'm a few miles out ahead. Where is the volume button? Uh, dial for the town. And we have our first meteor at 80 nautical miles. It's automatic. No, there is a volume As you can for see, it. It's I now, uh, yesterday. I don't see now it lofts. in the cockpit, though. And does not, whoops, and does not achieve this, Oops, and does not achieve the same velocity that it used to. So I'll be interested in your feedback to see what you think about it in its current configuration. Multiple missiles out. May have gone off. Yeah, may have gone off. I lost luck. Multiple missiles out now. Yeah, you did. Oh, Simba has gone low and notched Matrix's missile. Cheeky Simba. Box three. Try to get in contact, finally. I lost lock. Yeah, I mean, he may have been jamming, he may have been notching, he may have been... It may have. I lost lock pretty late into it. It may be pitiful. Yeah. Yes, in fact, I think we are tracking here. Yep, tracking Meteor. Hello, young man. And we have our first... Skyhawk down. Boof. Well done. Many more to come. Ooh, and it was player on player. <laughs> nice. Okay, next missile out. At least one of its rocket motors burning. Okay, we're on to glide. Obviously, in real life, it works slightly differently, but... Next. Okay. Next plane down. Yeah, well, there are some Germans who drink yes, tea. Yes, they do, Gans. Yes, they do. Box 3, I think the second one went as well. Okay, another Meteor and Glide, and Kaboomy! No notching that. Right. Box three. Got notched. It looks like it got net notched. Yeah. That's the thing, these... We've nerfed these missiles, and they are now beatable. I mean, they're very hard to beat compared to most missiles, but they are beatable. As presumably they would be in real life to, to a degree. But they just keep coming, look at this, they just keep going and going and going. One from Strider, one from me. Fox 3. Okay, that's on Simba. They found Simba. Notch Simba, notch that sun. Huh. Yep. I was pursuing whoever was headed home. Killer getting real close to one. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see him. He wasn't on F10 for a while. That's because he's flying out of the line of sight of the EW, EWR, as you can see. And another one trying to notch, but down. Another meteor chasing. They just—they're like pit bulls. They never give up chasing. Firing on that A4 to the right of that little group strider. Good deconviction. Look at it. Just chase it, chase it, chase it to the end of the world and smack. Well done. They're really chopping through them now, boys. There's another one down. Fox 3. Strider. Strider, you see the two directly in front of us? Yes. I'll go for the one in the back, you go for the one in the front? Roger. Fox 3. Fox 3. Beautiful. Uh, Matrix, S.A. trick. Getting a little bit tight there, Matrix. Box 2. 
I think we need help right now. Yeah, you might have to get in dirty as they get oh, close to two out. Oh! Uh, yeah. Okay, my missile should go pit bull. I'm gonna pull out of here. Get the one closest to fire God dang it, fire death. I'm going out of energy. Don't worry, we're, we're, we're coming, Fire Dad, don't you worry. Fox 3. Uh, I lost lock immediately. Unlucky, Fox 3. Strider, try to get that lock quickly before it goes pitbull on fire. It keeps disappearing. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, mine should go pit bull. I'm out of here. Drive's going straight west. Fox 3. Fox in the south one. On close one or far one, Strider? Uh, the close one, the south one. Copy. Weird, I'm not picking these guys up on radar. I'm gonna pull out. Don't worry, I'll get the other one. Copy that. Fox 3. Oh, that's my last one. Oh. It's like Matrix, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, help. I'm I'm heading that way. I'm okay, burning as well. South for the L39s. All right, Matrix. I got you on radar contact. I don't see your red pokey though. Flash. There's one at Angel 17, about three miles south of me. Box three. Uh, what's the button to disconnect my radar lock? Just, just re go back into BVR. Just, just, just gotcha. re enter got BVR. It, Hey guys, just run around from that A4 to your south. I've got a meteor on him. Yeah, I mean, are these, can these Eurofighters even make it home? I don't know. Looks like there might be a little blue on blue. Uh oh. Oh my oh, gosh, Matrix. Cool. My apologies. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll stop there. That's obviously been a complete wipeout. Only Typhoon that was ever in danger was, well, shot by his own buddy. And the Pampas remaining don't have any air to air ability. So obviously, they would just be hunted down, shot on the way back. So, resounding victory, kind of as expected. Now, let's try it with a bit of sneaky. Argentinian subterfuge. Okay, that didn't work. So we're going to try again with our secret stealth attack. The Argentine Navy is doing the same thing, but the Air Force has changed. They have been aided by Argentine Special Forces. They've come in about an hour ago and disabled this EWR and this EWR, but not this EWR. That's too hard to get to. Those EWRs are going to be out for an hour or so before anyone notices, at least in my roleplay. To aid that, the 23 Fighting Hawks and the Pampas are now going to go on the deck as fast as they can. 400 knots, 150 feet maximum. They are going to follow very carefully pre-planned courses, as you can see, which will guide them in the low terrain to hopefully close all of the way to the East Island before they are seen by this EWR, which is all modelled, by the way. This line of sight is all modelled, including Earth curvature. So if their plan works with the lack of that and that EWR, the new stealth attack will allow all 20 or 30 aircraft to close until just within 10, maybe 20, maybe 30 miles before the Brits spot them. At that point, 
there won't be enough time for the typhoons to scramble and shoot them down. They'll be overwhelmed, they'll win the day. 36 hours later, the ships get in, they take the island before a British task force can be raised. With the hardware available for the Argentines, that is the best option I can find of winning the Falklands back with the way things are at the moment. Note, RAF guys, you may not take off until you physically see one of the reds on your EWR, on your SA screen. If that happens, you may take off, even one. So it's imperative you, the Argentinians, stay hidden at all time until the very last moment. If someone pops up and gets seen by the EWR, the RAF guys will see it on the SA screen. They'll scramble, they'll come and shoot you all down. So you all have to play perfectly for this to work. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Sneaky Argentinians. Argentinians are all about 100 feet off the sea here. It's very important that they stay like that. Now, we can see them because we're in gob mode. If we go here to the blue coalition, da-da, they can't see anything because the blues only see what the blue EWR radar shows them. So it's all about for the Argentinians staying as low and sneaky as possible and seeing how far in they can get before being picked up. Absolutely critical to the plan. Got to keep low, 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 low. Uh, you, sir, are too high. Get down, get yep. down. You will ruin it for everyone if you get spotted. One person gets spotted, that's it. The typhoons can scramble and it's over for all of you. So it's incredibly important. Quack, quack. Yes, that you all uh, stay as low as you can, please. Lovely bit of sun. Boys waiting in Mount Pleasant to scramble. Mount Pleasant, I believe, was uh, built just after the 1982 Falklands War, wasn't it? Uh, Matrix. Uh, yeah, Mount Pleasant was in was built uh, within the sort of five six years after that. Uh, otherwise, the Phantoms, the F wars were operating on a Port Stanley, but uh, Mount Pleasant was a big advance in capability, as, you, as you'll well know. Okay, land spotted with the first AI Skyhawks, Fighting Hawks. Not long now. Well, um, I just landed and want to try to sit in the water. Are you alive? Uh, negative. Get another one. <laughs> okay. Check on the blues. What do the blues see at the moment? Absolutely nothing. Even with this EWR with perfect field of vision at 2300 feet, it just cannot get line of sight on any of those hawks. Okay, the first AI group are now entering the first West Island Sounds. Imagine you're in a fishing boat and all that flies over top of you. Well, you would radio in the Coast Guard. If you have a radio. I'm talking like a canoe just out inside the bay with a fishing Ooh, boat. That would be terrifying. <laughs> I, would, I would maybe just do a rollover and uh, put my head into the water so I just don't have to hear and see them. Because I would be so terrified. My beautiful hawks, my beautiful humans, flying in formation, super, super low, 50 feet, 60 feet. Doing what they need to do to stay out of that EWR coverage. Oh, we're just attacking at the right time for a cut of, cup of tea, so everyone watching the radars is just ignoring it. <laughs> yes, that's right. Exactly. Got to time it perfectly when the British had sound asleep. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Mm. Hey, Cap. Mm. I feel like there was this one time when I was flying an A4 with Matrix, Listen, and he showed me the way. Huh. We do get lost a bit, Simba. So, Matrix, any yes, ETA right. on that nurse uniform? Huh. Uh, well, I've got three in my cupboard already. Right. 
Oh my. Yep. What's the What's the big reveal? Uh, only if you've got a seven figure sum of money. Hmm. Can't wait till Simba just pops up. I will pop up as you're trying to take off. Mm-hmm. He won't pop up somewhere where they want to expect him. Look at Simba sneaking in at sea level. At some point, this is going to get line of sight. There's only so long you can hide. Well, I I did yes, get some salt water again in my intakes. Right. Um, you crashed again, Gans. Yes, right. sorry. Get another one again. Last, <laughs> Thank you. Last one. <laughs> Poor Gans. Mm. Okay, AI moving into the inlet, and oh dear! Well, Sire, I aim for perfection, but sometimes perfection means a little bit too close to the water. Yes, Gans. Uh, here's a problem. The first AI group are going over what appears to be a farm. And let's hope they're not awake. Dunrose guy. Farm. Right. You know, you know them. Well, you know what? We've decided to attack. The Argentines, Argentine have decided to attack when there was a massive party gone on the Falklands. And everyone's hung over in my roleplay, and no one is up and listening for jet sounds. So that's why they haven't alerted the QRA, in my mind. Okay, we better check out what the blue EWR can see again. Coalition. Uh, 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 and blue R. Uh, 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 blind! Still. Well done, Reds. Very good. Closing in. My lovely humans, 50 feet off the water, going in like a like Top Gun canyon run. Yeah, uh, why don't you just ruin it real quick, uh, huh? Yeah. Come on, guys. My apologies. You really want me to? Simba, closing on his own man. Oh. Follow that man, Simba. That's the best idea. You did turn the EW on, did you, Cap? Yeah, but they forgot to arm it. <laughs> uh, I think they're all having a slumber I, party in there. I'm pretty sure I did, guys. Oh, I think Scramble's there we go, they've contact. got them! Blues, let me check to make sure you're not cheating, and yes! Two Skyhawks have gone... Oh, they've gone too high! Stupid AI, what are they doing? Oh, God. They've gone hey. over the mountain. Why would they do this? AI on multiplayer, yo. Right, well, there you go. RAF! Killer! Overzealous as ever. Wreck that landing gear. Burn her on. Engage, engage, engage. Go on, boys. Let's go stick it to the Argies. Right, put your landing gear up this time. Can I get a vector? Vector is in. <laughs> oh, Simba's lost. Simba, go. Um, Run on your radar. Look at the center screen. Zero, 080, zero, Simba. Just go that way. You'll be fine. Just stop going south. Just go where the other guys are going. The guy that we have on our essay is at 270. Letting you all know. Oh, all four of them are showing up in the middle now. Box three. And first meteor out of the new simulation. Long may it live. Strider's going uh, south. Fire does head south. Makes it matrix setting in the blue. What can the blue see? Raj. They can see. Well, almost all of the reds can be seen now. They've all screwed up. Look, it was going to happen. I feel like I may have uh, overshot my target. Uh, let's have a look, Simba. Oh, you're going completely the wrong way. Of course you are, Simba. I'm not convinced this is still guiding, you know, but I think he might have lost the hawk in the mountain. Are you sure it's still. I think you've lost radar. Oh, I haven't lost lock. Right. Boxing on a far one. I can't see any fighting hawks. No fighting hawks. Oh! Ha ha ha! Well, wow, what a weapon. What a freaking weapon. Okay, I gotta start launching. Okay, another meteor seeking its target. Targets are trying to hide in the set in the openness of the 
Falkland sound now. There's absolutely no cover in the sound. Did you deep and targets? Be perfect. Sorry, Dad. We knew our targets. In the sound now. He's not going to escape. No notching that, baby. Humans flying super low. It's the only way they can survive against the meteors. It's being super low. Uh, against the typhoon, sorry, and it will work. Being really, really low, hide us from the EWI and hide us from the radar. Oh, they dodge the one. Aircraft themselves, if they can keep out of line of sight. Yep, they can dodge. One in ten, one in twenty, maybe. We'll get dodged depending on the aircraft. Look at them; they just seek and seek and seek. You cannot get away from a freaking meteor. Goodbye, Simba. <coughs> oh, it was Simba. Simba, come on! That's a perfectly serviceable airframe, you can trim that out, although you have lost your sidewinders. Killer SA. Yeah, I'm getting out of here, yep. Sam. Bye bye, Scott! Scott cannot catch a Mark 2.35 fighter up, however hard he tries. Uh, Fire Dad, watch your north. Another hawk being hunted down. Flash. Simba, contemplate ejecting maybe? Why would I? I would not suggest dawdling on wounded prey, guys. I'll get out of there and avoid ACM at all costs. They have sidewinders. Hey, you know? Cabriolet. Do you have a Cabriolet. Really Fire. careful about getting Fire dead close to your north. About getting mixed in here. These Skyhawks, remember, valued viewers, do not have situation awareness screens like the uh, Eurofighters do, so they are doing everything by eye. So that's something you've got to take into account when you're watching them. I've got to PID everything, everything by eye. Oh, oh, oh no, Simba! Oh, goodness gracious me, Simba! Put him out of his misery! Good team play. Sorry about that. Alright, so I got Scott, I can't really help you with cannon. Was that red on red? It was. Yeah, and then for some reason I just died instantly after. Oh yeah, a meteor hit you in the back. That would explain it. Give me a second, then I'll get over there. Hey Strider, turn to the north. I got four or uh, two uh, A4s on my tail. Adding a missile. Okay, right, turn in. Cap, you will. They're following. Very misplaced. They're very low now. I'm I'm high. I've gone very high. While trying to turn into Matrix to maybe lob a F2 at him, I wingtipped for water once again. You're telling me you're dead again, Gunst, when you're third, oh. third go. Excellent work. That's what I live for. Do. Uh, killer, you do must not let him get through to Mount. I can't actually see him. Mount Pleasant. That's a you problem. Where is he? Oh my god, there he is. Find him. Box three. Oof, meteor at friggin' five miles. Good luck with that, Mr. Cannonball. Not that baby. What a great friggin' fight. No chance of he beating that. Oh my goodness gracious me, look at it that! Ritz. <laughs> no, okay, beat the Azram. No. Well done. Typhoon, baby. Follow the merge. I know who my money is on. With Azrams. Oh, fire dad. I've got two meteors on that guy. Be careful. careful. Okay, I do too. <laughs> I got one out on him. Oh, uh, it's it's gone. He it's gone. Uh, Pitbull, he's I'm out. Azram. Yeah, yeah. Get out of there. Oh, we can't spoof a cannon. 
Nice. So I have yet to see nice. someone dodge bullet. That's it, and that's the Skyhawks are down, guys. You may as well go and get the um, the Pampers and shoot them down. Finish it off in style, why not? I'm going to press the RAF, happen to be sitting in their airplanes warmed up and ready to go and could take off the first well, it was, contact. It was time for a Sunday morning flight. The uh, enemy flights to the north disappeared. It's no, off still there. Oh, they're still there. Might be off radar. You gotta love the fuel 1500 sound. Oh, I don't think any of the Euro fighters are going home today. But lost about four billion dollars in there. I've got the far, the one on the far left. Oh, they're just southern group. We killed the same guy. Do you have any Fox 3s left? It's, do you see anything, Matrix? I've got visual. Fox 3. I'm gonna leave, just in case. Uh, it was definitely uh, showing an IFF as a uh, bandit rather than friendly. And that's it guys, all pampers down, all skyhawks done, all done pretty much fairly and squarely with what would be available, even with the RWRs taken down, it looks like we just cannot find a way of getting these legacy Argentinian aircraft over to the Falklands undetected and to take on the four Eurofighters. There's just such a mismatch of technology going on here. So the first round, when they were just flying high and spotted by radar, I think we all thought Typhoons were gonna win, but this time around, we had a real good chance of getting those Argentinian Skyhawks near and under those typhoons, but still with a general lack of SA, although to be fair, we didn't have their air-to-air -air radars modeled, but still, bearing in mind they've only got missiles that go about four or five miles, it's just we cannot get in close enough to those typhoons. And I'm not sure what else I can do with the Argentinian stuff they have available to really make a difference. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of fun. Over the Falklands is fun.